According to Russia's Supreme Court, the Jehovah's Witnesses is now an extremist organization. Following years of increasing pressure at a regional level and six days of hearings in Moscow, the judge issued a ruling. The decision is to eliminate Jehovah's Witnesses and all its internal elements in Russia. All the property and belongings of the organization which are left after the debt payment will be handed over to Russia's ownership. The ruling effectively means Russia's 175,000 witnesses will be banned from spreading their literature and congregating like this. The main meeting hall of the Jehovah's Witnesses in Moscow is often busy. This is a cosmopolitan city and the congregation here reflects that. On the nights we visited, there were services going on in Russian, French and Azerbaijani. Some Russians were even using their worship to learn Vietnamese. I'm Kogan. The accusation that they're extremists baffles the faithful here. I personally learn about peace, tolerance, to love and respect people. That's how I was brought up with these principles, and now I don't understand what I'm accused of. I feel concerned as I don't know what future would be like for me, my family, my friends, and of course I'm worried. There are some theories about why the Jehovah's Witnesses are being targeted by the authorities, though. The fear is that in non-Orthodox movements there are Western influences. There is a danger that these movements will support a possible democratic orange revolution in Russia. There are fears that all non-Orthodox religions in Russia are independent of the government. Independence from the government in itself is a pretext to suspect them of possible crimes. The songs here are of courage and bravery. They'll need both as they adjust to a new reality. As bad as things are for the witnesses now, in the past it's been even worse. Stalin had thousands of them sent into exile in Siberia. Possibly even the relatives of some of the people worshipping here today. Jehovah's Witnesses across Russia will have to pin all their hopes on a legal appeal. If that fails, meetings like this will be a thing of the past. In the eyes of Russian law, there will be no difference to other banned groups like ISIL. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Moscow.